Hi, my name is Owen McGab Inawo and welcome to HireYourVirtualAssistant.com where we specialize in providing small business owners with exceptional virtual assistance. And on our blog, I bring on experts, small business experts to provide you guys with insights and value that you can take and immediately implement in your business. Well, today's topic is about networking. A lot of people just think networking is going out to events and passing out flyers and cards and, and you know, that's really that's not what networking is about. Uh, the saying in business, the way it says, uh, um, it's, it's not what you know, but who you know is really, really very important. And the more people that you genuinely know and can provide impact to your business via you going out there to network with people is very essential. Uh, so today I got uh, Jordan Habinger from the Art of Charm today on, on the call because I wanted to make sure that you guys really get to know what networking, uh, networking for your business is really about. And I wanted you to hear from the expert and I look forward to meeting with you after the interview because I want to really know what you have learned from the interview. I have Jordan Habinger on the line and I want him to talk specifically about his business, what he does and how small business owners can take his ideas and apply to their business in, in regards to networking. So go ahead, introduce yourself, your company and we carry on from there. Sure. My name is Jordan Harbinger and I run a company called The Art of Charm and our website of course is theartofcharm.com and what we do is we teach men charisma. We teach guys the skills that they need to network with people to create business relationships but also we focus on dating and connection with the opposite sex so a lot of guys will come to us thinking alright I need to learn how to meet and attract women but we also teach guys how to get and keep the girl and all of our knowledge all of our skill sets can be parlayed into business as well so we teach a lot of entrepreneurs businessmen and even large fortune 500 companies and executives how to really turn on the charm so to speak and make their networking less of a time filler and more productive. So guys will come in and they'll wonder, okay, how do I meet the right people to help move my business forward? And that's exactly what we teach here at The Art of Charm is how to find the right people, create a genuine connection with those people, and exchange value with those people so that both of you end up in a win-win situation where both of your businesses move forward. And this can be the small entrepreneur working out of his bedroom yeah. or it can be a large fortune 500 company where they want to train their entire sales team to really be able to make deals on a larger scale and close oh yeah and, and, and Venice when someone hear the intro saying that you guys help guys be more charming for ladies they will start sure. saying oh is this a dating show but the reality is you know even be dating and trying to talk to girls or even in business you really know how you, you really need to know how to come across to people you know communicate your ideas and make them feel comfortable absolutely. around you you know absolutely uh, confidence or charm or savoir faire even sales there's literally almost no difference between those things and business or sales in general or meeting and attracting the opposite sex. These are all really the same thing. So you can, if you can charm a woman, you can sell a product or a service. If you can sell a product or a service, a lot of guys are like, whatever, I have lots of money, I make millions of dollars in sales, but I, I can't handle my relationships. <laughs> if, we, if you come to the Art of Charm and we examine your skill set, somewhere along the line, you're breaking down, you're not doing what you normally do in a sales situation you're not doing that in your own relationships, and a lot of guys just need us to help illustrate that. But there's really, really a lot of overlap and commonality between business and sales and meeting and attracting a quality woman into your life. So walk me through the process. Say someone comes to you, a small business owner comes to you now, trying to figure out how you can you know, educate them on what you guys do and how they can incorporate it to their business. You know, starting out, how, what, what's the process with you guys? What, what, what would the small business owner have to go through? Uh, can you repeat the question? Sorry, the Skype broke up a little oh, bit. Oh, yes. I was trying to find out if a small business owner comes to you guys now, try, specifically trying to find out how he can use your skills and what you guys have to show them on how to network in their business. What would be the process they would have to go through? Because I'm trying to walk the listeners through you know, the steps that they have to go through to, so that they can incorporate some of your ideas into their business. 
Well, a lot of guys make this mistake, and I'll, first I'll go through a little bit of what people normally do and why these skill sets fail for them. A lot of guys will go to a convention thinking, all right, well, this is for other salespeople in the uh, automotive supplier industry, or maybe I should go to this 140 conference for Twitter because a lot of the most popular social networking people are going to be there. That's great because you're going to be around a lot of people speaking about something that you're interested in, some way that you, maybe you make money social networking. But the problem is a lot of people who go to those, they go to all the talks, they take notes, they maybe have a chat with some of the people during the breaks. It's all small talk. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm from Boise. Oh, really? My grandmother grew up there. Big deal. This is, this is fluff. This isn't substantive. There's no connection being made. There's no value being exchanged. There's no plan for future contact, nothing. Or there's the person who thinks that, okay, I'm just going to get a list of everybody's email address or their phone number, and then I have this Rolodex full of people, and I know who does X and who does Y and who does Z, so if I need that, I can call those people, and then I have access to those products and services. That's all right, but what we want to do is we want to go to these, these conferences and these exchanges of information with the idea that we're going to help as many people as possible. And guys are thinking, well, wait a minute. I don't want to help as many people as possible. I want people to help me. <laughs> but if everybody goes in there with the same mindset, which is take value, take value, then everybody's going to walk away with nothing. So you want to be the guy who goes in there, or gal, who goes into these conferences and works the room. And by this, I mean go to the chats, go to the conference, the, the content. But really, I'm going to say something that's going to really you know, shock the conscience of a lot of conference <laughs> Go ahead. Let's shock them. Those speeches, those those presentations that are going on, 90% of the stuff you hear at a conference is fluff. It's stuff you've already heard. Most of the time, no one learns anything. Mm -hmm. Those are an excuse to get together and network. There's really almost no other reason to go to these. Maybe you're going to hear some famous social networker or somebody really brilliant give a speech. But to be honest, that's probably going to be available on YouTube. The knowledge is available on that person's blog anyway. They're not going to give you something extra special. Mm -hmm. And if they do, fine, go see them speak. But the gold, the gold for those conferences and those events is always in the networking. I'll repeat that. The gold, the goal and the gold for any conference, any get together is always, always, always in the networking. Yeah. And, so and go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. You want to make sure that you're not letting that go because you're tired because you went to 20 speeches or 20 talks during the, the past two days. You don't want to be too tired to go out at night. What you want to do is meet everybody there. Even if you think, oh, well, you know, this person, I don't really need to speak with her because she does, uh, she does exclusively sales on Twitter and I, and I don't sell anything on Twitter. I'm more of a, an internet marketer. I'm a direct mailer or something like that. Don't think like that. She has value. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's for somebody that you meet in five minutes. So if I'm talking to, to you, Owen, and I say, oh, well, you know, you, you teach a lot about virtual assistants. Well, I don't really need that right now because I already have my virtual assistants okay. and they're in the Philippines already. I'm all set. I don't really need that. But if I meet someone else who's saying, man, you know, my payroll is killing my margins every month. I've got three administrative staff and they each make 35000 a year and they get, they get benefits and they're really eating into my margins. I might say, you know what? You should meet Owen. Because Owen's going to tell you that you can hire 10 people for $35,000 a year, if that yes. much, and none of them are going to need benefits, mm -hmm. and they're only going to work on the stuff that you're telling them to work on, and they only get paid for the jobs that they do. They don't get paid to sit around in the office and, and you know have water cooler chats when you don't need their services. You need virtual assistance, and Owen's the guy to hook that up. Now, you're thankful because I just sent you someone who's going to give you business, and she's thankful because I just gave her somebody who's going to solve one of her largest problems and make her a bunch more money. Now, you guys have one thing in common during that introduction, and that's me, because I made the intro. And, of course, whenever I need anything from either of you guys, you already know, hey, you know, Jordan gave me business. I'm going to make this happen for him. Or, hey, Jordan introduced me to that guy who gave me all those virtual assistants. That's great for me. I made a ton of extra money. So if Jordan needs something from me, or even if I just need an introduction to somebody else, I know I can count on you guys. You guys are now part of my networking circle, even though I didn't need anything from you guys. I just hooked you guys up with each other. Now, that's very important, and most people don't think that way because they're not thinking one, two, three, four steps ahead. They're only thinking, what are my immediate needs, and how do I meet these at this conference? Or they're just trying to kill time because they want to fill their Rolodex. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that people make 
especially entrepreneurs, because we're so focused as a group about getting our own businesses off the ground that we often don't think about how we can help other people get their businesses off the ground. And what we realized here at The Art of Charm is when you give people value over and over and over, it always comes back to you in abundance because people now are looking, hey, man, Jordan hooked me up with this person who gave me business. Man, Jordan hooked me up with this guy who gave me virtual assistance and a bunch of expertise. I wonder how I can help him. And then they're going at things thinking, how can I, how can I repay Jordan's kindness? How, you know, when they meet somebody who might need my services or could help me with something, I'm the first guy on their mind because I continually network people with one another. And there's a lot of, there's a fine process to this and I'm going to break it down for you if you guys are interested. Go ahead, go ahead. Sure. So when I go to a conference, I just went to a conference last week and it was amazing. It was absolutely incredible. And it was in Washington, D.C. And there were a lot of nonprofits there. There were a lot of marketing experts there. Bill Clinton and Russell Simmons were there. It was really, really exciting. It was, there was a lot of people there that were amazing. And a lot of them, I'd say even most, were really outside of the circle of people that could help me and my company with our immediate needs. Now, me and my business partner, AJ, were working the whole room. We met hundreds of people throughout the course of a week-long conference. We attended a lot of the talks, but what we also did was we set up private bar nights where we might grab a couple guys that we had just met and go out for drinks somewhere else. We might grab dinner with a few people that we had met and go separately from the main dinner or even before or after the main dinner and hang out and get to know each other. And we weren't thinking about, okay, how can these people help me? How can we help them? We were just trying to become friends with one another and thinking about how we can keep their needs in mind because when we meet the other people throughout the course of the conference, we're going to be able to connect them. So now we have people all over the United States, well, actually all over the world, just from the past week alone, who are looking at us thinking, these guys know everyone. If I need anything, I go to Jordan and I go to AJ. And this has been great because now we've got people who want to promote our iPhone application. We've got people who want to help us market our website. We've got people who want to help us rewrite our sales copy. And they want to do it for free or for low cost because I've sent them so much business over the past couple of days alone by connecting them with others that I've done and met the exact same way that they're very thankful for what we've done for them. Now, giving value is a great way for you to help other people and for you to create what we call social capital. Okay. Now, a lot of people, especially entrepreneurs, are thinking, well, I don't have a lot of money. I'm bootstrapping, man. I can't pay for a sales copy to be written. I can't pay to redo my website. I can't pay to use teaching facilities or office facilities outside my, my home market. Um, right now, I'm in New York City, and we're based out of L.A. normally during the rest of the year. So where am I teaching? Well, we're teaching at a teaching facility that's being supplied by somebody that we met, and they're giving it to us at a great a great deal, a great discount. Why are they doing this? Well, because we offer to get rid of some of their other properties during downtime by connecting them with other people that we know needed them. How do we know those people? Well, we have a huge Rolodex and a huge network of people, not just that we can call up out of the blue, hey man, remember me last year? I met you at this conference and we had a, a we were in the elevator. No. It's, oh yeah, sure, Jordan, I remember you. We, we went paintballing or we went, uh, we went for a walk in D.C. during the break on this conference when everybody was just mind, brains were burnt. We, you know, we needed to relax. We went and got a beer. These people know about my company. They know my target already audience. They know my target market. They know how I market. And I know exactly the same things about all of them. And I keep them in my Salesforce database along with all my other sales leads and all my other customers. So they're all well organized. And whenever I need anything, I can type in keywords if I need sales copy, I type in sales copy, and I've got a bunch of all-star copywriters that I could probably never afford on my own who are willing to just bend over backwards and help me out because they know that I've hooked them up with so many other people and so much other business in the recent past that they can't wait to make it happen. So a lot of people need a lot of money to make that, that those kind of connections, to get those connections 